Did you know there's one major problem that in most cases will keep knee pain from getting better? In this video, I'm going to share really a massive misunderstanding that we have about not just making pain better, but in making the knee health better. That's what we want, healthy bones and joints for life. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jeff Bailey, and I have spent 45 years in the world of yoga refining the practice to find a way to make our bones and joints healthy and strong. We don't go to the doctors to replace muscles. We go to them to replace joints. And here is one of the biggest problems with managing knee pain and knee health. We try to fortify the muscles around the knee. We try to use the muscles to strengthen and stabilize joints instead of going for the problem itself. The problem is arthritis. The problem is degeneration. The problem is the toxins building up inside of the knee because we're afraid to use them fully. That's problem number two. We try to protect the very thing that needs our intention. And if we protect it, we stop using it. And if we don't use it, we lose it. So Avita is an approach to begin to give your bones and joints the compression they crave and love. Now it's not just what we do, it's how we do it. I'm going to show you a few simple shapes for your knee that will help resolve pain, but even more importantly, get to the cause of the pain in the first place. And for that, I'm going to need a very simple yoga prop that I bet you have under you right now. It's called a chair. Sitting in a chair right on the edge of the seat, so the outer part of, in this case, my right hip is on the right edge of the chair, I'm going to bend the knee and move the foot back. See that simple movement? I just increased the flexion of the knee. Now, I'm going to assume for the sake of this video, that you have severe knee issues. That's why we need the chair. And for some people with a severe knee issue, this simple degree of flexion can be a lot. So what could you do if it's still too strong? Add a little support to your chair. So you sit a little bit higher up, opening up the flexion of the knee. But let's just say you can move it back and you can have your toes on the floor. If that's doable, then see if you can get the toenails onto the floor. Now, just in talking you through this, my knee has been in flexion now for about 20 seconds. We need one and a half to three minutes in any given shape to stimulate the physiology inside the knee. Subscribe to my channel and in future videos, I'll tell you all about that physiology that every doctor and every physical therapist know about they just haven't really learned how to apply the physiology and stimulate it. And that's what Avita is all about. So now it's been about a minute. The knee has had some healthy compression. Even the toes have had compression. And by the way, if you feel sensation or restriction down in your toes or your ankle, that has to be included. If the ankle and the toes are stiff, that is going to have a ramification into the knee. If the hip is locked up and rigid, that too will add to the compensation patterns through the weakest link in the leg, the knee. Okay, so we include it all. It's been a, about a minute and a half, so you might pause the video and go to the other side. But let's assume that that shape was a little too simple for you. We want to feel the compression. We have to get into a little bit of pain in order to trigger the physiology and start to evoke movement and remodeling in the damaged part of the joint. So we bring the floor a little bit closer, sitting on the edge of the chair. Now, if I put my toes on the bolster, or maybe you grab a fern cushion, maybe you stack a book or two up. And now I've just increased the flexion 
on my knee in a very, very manageable way. Now, here's the thing about the Avita practice. Peace is the primary goal. Yes, I want to improve my knee. Yes, I want healthy bones and joints for life. But they're all a means to teach me peace. And with peace as the primary goal, now I have a barometer to know if I'm overworking or underworking. Because the sensation that's generated here should evoke a peaceful response. Though it might be a little bit edgy, a little bit painful at first, if you're moving slow, you'll know that pain will change into healing sensation. The sensation may drop away completely. That doesn't mean you push the shape. It means you relax. It means that you find a feeling of gratitude, that things are changing, that you may have just discovered a way to improve the health of your knee. So that's flexion of the knee. Now, the knee needs to have extension. Take the time to address both sides. You could do the other side and, and repeat the video. All right, so now I'm going to release. How do we release from any shape? Slowly and thoughtfully. And I don't try to get rid of the sensation. I pause and I stay with it. The physiology is still working and it will continue to work for you the rest of the day. You stimulated healing sensation and healing physiology. Don't try to make it go away. And that's why we move slow. Now, the knee, along with any other given joint, also needs extension. Now I'm going to teach you about extension of the knee. You can turn your chair crosswise, use that support for your head, and lie back and support your legs over the chair. Relax. Remember, peace is the primary goal. We actually, in Avita Yoga, there's very active shapes. As I'm going to show you here shortly, there's an active shape. Even still, peace is the primary goal. The legs are supported. I feel my whole spine on the floor. Now it's extension of the knee that we explore. Slowly extend the knee. Now what's happening? The quadriceps, four unique muscles bundled together that cross the knee joint at the kneecap, engage and extend the knee. Activate them slowly. Pull the toes towards you. Push up and away through the heel. Feel the gentle support of the chair. If it's a little bit, if the edge is too strong, give it some cushion. Okay, there's no reason to not have a pleasant experience here while we work on the restricted areas. Now, can you firm your thigh and extend the knee and reach up through the heel? That is a genuine question. Let's relax down. Try the other leg. Slowly extend the knee. Pull the five toes towards you. Reach through the heel. Where does the restriction show up? It could feel restricted in the calf muscle. It could feel restricted down in the Achilles tendon. It could be restriction and congestion in the back of the knee. It could be chondromalacia or arthritic sensation under the kneecap, okay? All those sensations are welcome. Work with them. Perfection is not required. We're working toward full extension. We're working toward full flexion. And it takes time and a little bit of willing practice. But you can rest assured that you're working on the problem and not around it. Firm thigh, reach to the heel. and then lower down. There are many Avita shapes, many, many variations on this. And I teach you how to access the restricted points in all the joints. In this case, we're covering the knee. But I teach you how to access the restricted, sensitive areas 
in a kind and thoughtful manner that begins to regenerate the healing process and literally remodel your bones and joints the same way we remodel a house. But it's not a mechanical means. It's physiological, and you have to trust that you have the physiology within you that will begin to make these changes. I hope you find this helpful. I know it is a radical change in thinking. It's a completely different approach to bone and joint health. But it's worked for me now for many, many years. It's worked for hundreds, if not thousands, of Avita students. Thank you so much. I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.